Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Parallel, uh, a low-budget, I think, sci-fi kind of thriller that takes uh, the multiverse concept and uh, kind of does what low-budget movies should do with it. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 13. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So, this premise has been done before in other ways. Basically, it's very similar to the idea of the uh, time machine, right? Uh, but instead of going back in time to try to change history to save somebody, um, you have characters who have, they sort of have access to parallel worlds, right? So the basic premise is there's a, a couple, they've lost their son, the woman's not dealing with it, and um, they're, they're living out in the woods, <laughs> see, parallel worlds, they're living out in the woods. Uh, I think they're. I think they're on a, a, a jaunt to forget or try to cope with their loss. And um, they also have. There's also a friend who uh, is friends with the husband. So there's really only three actors in this, which is a reason why they do these. Uh, for low budget, right? You don't need a lot of actors. They they keep running into versions of themselves. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, she isn't coping well, and uh, eventually, uh, she starts having weird sort of close encounters in the woods. Now, the background is the uh, husband's father was a scientist, and he did some experiments near those woods. And uh, had a facility, but they closed it down. He went insane. And, um, you know, of course, he's the one who developed whatever technology it was. Um, so his uh, the husband's worried that my dad went insane. Now, I'm, I, you know, I've lost my son, and now I'm worried I'm going to lose my wife. But she starts having these encounters. And, of course... She concludes that maybe in one of these alternate universes, her son is still alive and she could save him. But of course, that's probably not a good idea because, you know, it, it, that's all going to go wrong somehow because you're essentially kidnapping the kid from another universe. Um, and then what happens to the version of that mother? So she. Uh, continues to go out in the woods uh, and uh, I think she's a hunter because she seems to be well armed but she's also taking drugs trying to get over her depression probably not a great idea for her to have a, a lot of access to guns but what are you going to do um, so and she keeps going out in the woods by herself uh, at least the trailer implies that also maybe not the best best time in the world for her to go hunting with, you know, a rifle. Anyhow, uh, she starts having these encounters or first, you know, probably just starts out as like weird feeling. Then next thing you know, she's seeing alternate versions of her husband, uh, then his friend and then herself. And, um, she eventually runs into one, I think the husband an alternate version of the husband who then has a map to the parallel worlds and he's sort of charting them through the woods and he keeps going into alternate worlds to try to find their son. So far, no dice. Um, but it's kind of a dark thriller movie because he tells her those, you know, the alternates cannot exist together. Um, so that's a, that's a bad thing. And uh, they're already sort of there. She already, you know, first she thinks she's going crazy. She sees her husband leave or, or the friend leave. And then he, she turns around and there he is. So at first she thinks she's going crazy. But then it turns out to be these alternates. And then it's going to ramp up throughout the movie. And what's the end? Does she get her son back? 
I don't think so. I, it feels pretty dark and uh, creepy. Um, I think probably in the end, she ends up being killed by another version of herself. Possibly one that's gone further over the edge. Or she does find her son, but... Or, or maybe she ends up killing her own son. That would be... Oh, that would be too dark, I think. Um, or maybe she ends up finding him, but it's an alternate reality, and, you know, it's dark, and she just disappears, and she's never seen again. That kind of thing. I don't know. Um, kind of hard to tell, which is a good sign in a trailer. Uh, you know, the whole novelty of this parallel universe thing, it's getting kind of overdone but i'll say this they're using using it the right way for low budget because the stakes here are very high she wants she has all the motivation in the world to try to get her son back and you can see you know you can see a character do this right you can see a character they discover this amazing parallel universe but they're hyper-focused on getting their son back because that's, you know, that's family. That's that's what happens. Um, so, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. I like the entire... I love the way it's shot. Um, you've got all this great sort of forest covering moss, and she's walking around it, and then there's a shot of her walking between these two I guess they're rotted trees with like moss on it and they look exactly the same so I guess they somehow did some sort of effect with like a two different tree trunks um, so stuff like little subtle things like that that she's walking through the woods and seeing parallels here and there and um, it seems to have a real plan you know for this sort of parallel universe thing um, but it's clear that it's a very dark thing and that you know, only bad things could possibly come out of this. So first act, it's her dealing with her, trying to deal with the tragedy. It's not working out. She's taking drugs. She's falling apart. She's going out in the woods and seeing all these odd things. Um, but then she sees something probably truly strange, like another version of her husband or the friend and... Uh, you know, is convinced something weird's going on. Backstory, of course, with the husband's scientist dad who went crazy working on these parallel universe things or the machine he built or whatever. Um, she eventually makes her way to the old compound and finds some more evidence of either people there, maybe her son or the machine that created all this. Uh, she starts seeing more and more versions, finally interacts with one, gets the lowdown on all these parallel universes, and that in most of them, in the adjoining parallel universes, her son is still dead, but she's convinced she has to just look harder. So she probably gets on board with this other version of her husband trying to map out these parallel universes, and then it just spirals out of control from there till the climactic ending, which probably has, again, it's probably a very dark ending. You know, maybe she gets shot and she makes it to the universe where her son exists, but she dies and then, you know, it's him later on in that parallel world deciding, oh, I'm going to go to parallel worlds and save my mother, like that kind of thing. So... You know, it's it's well shot. Uh, I, I I like the focus on just three characters, and uh, so I think it could be good. I think it could be decent. Here we go. Follows the journey of Vanessa, a grief-stricken woman who mysteriously finds herself navigating between parallel spaces. The only thing I'll say is it's very convenient that they're vacationing right next to the old. Uh, facility where the where the dad you know operated some sort of machine to create parallel universes i mean that's very convenient but you know what 
in a low budget, you can you can forgive that, and it looks very um, rich. The the colors and I'm really enjoying the imagery in this movie. So I would give it a chance. Yeah, it's called Parallel. Uh, coming soon uh, to a theater near you, maybe, or or a streamer. I like the logo too. See, you got this thing going on. It's obviously like split it down the middle, two halves, you know, like a like a mirror version of the woods. Cool. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say, take it. Got two other videos over there. Make sure you check them out. Anyhow, we'll see you in the next one.